This tutorial is part of the Coblox coding tutorial series. Watch it to learn how to use functions in Coblox, the visual programming language in CoSpaces EDU. If you're new to Coblox, start with the intro tutorial Coblox the Basics first. Functions are helpful to keep your code organized, easy to use, and compact. Without functions, we would need to repeat a lot of coding work and remember what happened where, when, and how. Functions are a collection of statement blocks that can be used like one statement block. You can use or call function blocks with parameters, which let you create a unique behavior for each call. Let's start with a simple function. Whenever we call the function, we turn an item towards another item and measure the distance between the two. Let's look at the blocks that we need for this function. We need a turn item to look at item statement block, an item say statement block, a distance between item expression block, and a round number expression block, so that the distance is shown as an easy to read number. Looks simple enough. Now, let's place these blocks into a function block. In the function category, press the create function button and give your function a name. Place all the blocks needed into the red function block that you've added. To use your new function statement block, drag it into the workspace and place it just below the when play click block. Well done! You've just created your first function. But let's face it, right now it's quite limited. How do you measure the distance to any other item in my scene with this block? Let's see how to make this function more flexible with the help of parameters. Parameters are like variables, but they exist only inside a function block. You can give them values whenever you call or use a function block in your workspace. Let's use parameters to define a new item as measuring target for our function. Tap or click on the function definition and select Edit Function. Click Add Parameter and name your new parameter Target Item. You can also give the parameter a type. Types help you to prevent using the wrong values inside the function statement. In our case, we want to use another item as a parameter, so we set its type to Scene Item. Click Update to change your function. See how we have a new Target Item parameter inside of our function definition? Simply drag it into the Look At and Distance Between Item blocks. You can now select which item you want to measure the distance to. You can also call functions inside of other functions. This lets you organize your code and create complex interactions while keeping an overview. Let's add another function to create click events for each item. Create a new function called create click event for and add an item parameter to it. In this function, we use the when item click block to create click events for the item. In the event block, we call the measure function and give it the item parameter. We then add create click event function blocks for all items we want to measure in our scene. That's it! Hit play to test what you programmed. Watch our other tutorials to learn more about coding in CoSpaces EDU.